Grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bromans Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are, oh good lord, if you are a new face, welcome in. If you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. This candle has fallen down three times. It's just so not impressed to be there. Um, if you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Let me pull you up a little bit so you can see my face. And you are now going as well. Where are you going? They all seem to just want to go for a walk. Okay. Smiley. Yeah, you keep going down again. So I'm going to leave you down. That one obviously does not want to be up. Eep. So things, something is definitely not going as planned, as we can see on here. Um, please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Anything that comes up in the areas of finance, mental health, physical health or law, um, I am not a qualified practitioner in any of those. I don't claim to be. Make sure that you actually reach out to someone who can give you advice and guidance in those areas before taking any advice from moi. If I use any type of pronoun while doing my reading, know that I'm picking up on energy because we hold both masculine and feminine, feminine energy irrespective of gender. It's up to you whether or not you assign a gender. You don't have to. And by watching my readings, you are in uh, agreement that you are responsible for your actions while watching my videos and therefore after, okay? Now, let's see. Um, I'm going to bring this bell. This is just to uh, cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sensitivity to sound, just turn down your listening device now, okay? Now, I automatically pick this one up. So let's see what wants to come out. Hmm. I don't know. And you're doing what as well. That's really weird. That's very strange. I'm going to pop you there. So two candles and this one seems to want to go as well. It's not as bad. So what's going on here? Someone's trying to hold on to something and it's just falling. Things are falling around them. This is to do with abundance as well. Tell me about this. Tell me about the candles falling. That's nice. So we've got the moon. Oh, we've got judgment in reverse. We've got Six of Swords in reverse and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Something's falling apart for someone here. They're refusing to see the truth or they're refusing um, any helping hand with something. The moon here says deception or delays, emotions up or down, maybe deceiving yourself emotionally or others. This could be a family member. It could be to do with someone's family here. Because this one here is actually falling, but it's falling so very slowly. It's almost like this tower is being held off or someone's holding off from allowing something to fall. Um, you have the Six of Swords. They're stuck in it, though, because the Six of Swords is usually about moving on to calmer waters, right? As you can see. Um, but with that being in reverse, this is being stuck somewhere. Turning both out of troubled waters into calmer ones. Okay, I heard this is like slowly spiraling into the descent of hell, I heard. Now you have a ten, number 10 here, the Wheel of Fortune, elevation of money, overseas trip and completion phases. Oh, look, 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 it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, let's move you that way, sir. Okay, you can, you can go that way. Mm, so someone is being very, they're being very stubborn. It's almost like being told, look, you, you're running out of money and you have to be able to pay your mortgage. And then going, no, it's fine. I will, you just rejig the, the numbers. Do it again, accountant. We'll be fine. And the accountant coming back and going, no, there is no money in, there's no water in the well. There is nothing there. And then going, no, 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 we'll just rejig it. Or I'll, I'll do a yard sale and I'll sell this stuff. And it's like, okay, so that covers this month. What about next month? And it's just every day something else is going wrong. Things are falling or people falling away. Now, having the Wheel of Fortune come out, though, this, this mixed energy has to do with it's almost like it's you versus someone you versus someone you've got justice coming out now and we had judgment and i didn't read it for some reason there we go just judgment justice eight of pentacles in reverse four of cups temperance in reverse what is going on justice and judgment Judgment decisions pending finality, the only decision that can be made under the circumstances upside down. This is what I mean by this person saying, just rejig it. There must be another answer. There must be another another thing that we can do. And everything else is falling around them or something is foreclosing. Something's foreclosing on them. 
and you have justice, legal situation or document, police, finding out the truth in the matter affecting the balance. They're trying to hide something. They're trying to hide something illegal that they may have done that didn't work out. But they may have paid someone and it didn't work out. They paid. They could have paid an accountant and the accountant's run off with all their money. Um, money fluctuations being offered something you may not want. Exactly. This is them coming. They don't want to come to terms with the fact that something is over. Something is just over. And they are digging and digging and digging like, I've got to find another way. There has to be an answer. There has to be another way that we can do this. And it comes down to this Wheel of Fortune. It's like taking lottery money that isn't yours. And then spending the lottery money. And thinking that you've hidden all the tracks of how you stole it. But then the evidence is you bought, I don't know, a holiday home in the Caribbean. Or a holiday home in Barcelona or whatever. And all fingers are pointing back to you. And you're like, no, 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 there's got to be a way that I can hide this, right? There has to be. Temperance, money restrictions, testing the waters is upside down. This is about taking money. They've taken something that wasn't theirs. Or family members have done this, especially as we started with the moon card. King of Pentacles. Uh, it says here, business, arrogance and powerful. Mm -hmm. And the eight of wands. This was a quick decision. This was a really quick, it says speedy news or situation coming when it comes to business. There's something that they did and they made a really snap decision to do it and it's now coming back to bite them on the arse. Like this one's actually gone down. It's, it's nearly down, but it's not completely down. And it's dripping off the side, so I'm gonna have to put it down like that. And I'm actually looking at how these candles are falling and it's the four, it's like the four of wands, but it's giving me the five of wands energy because all of these candles are over each other. Like they're fighting. So there may be a whole family in anxiety, in stress. There may be a whole family that are arguing with their accountant or their lawyer or something along those lines or the police and saying, no, 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 that didn't happen that way. It didn't, it didn't. And they're clambering, trying to figure out how they can hide something or present something in a different way, a way that doesn't, doesn't show them in a, an, an unfavorable favorable light. Knight of Cups has come out, needing more confidence, and Queen of Wands, positive, fiery, and outspoken. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. The Five of Swords is in reverse. This is someone trying to calm the storm. This is someone trying to, they're trying to kind of like smooth over things losses all is not lost as you still have three swords remaining giving you the upper hand of it it's upside down and usually the five of swords in reverse is about removing conflict but i'm getting more that this person is trying to they know that they've lost something they know that they have lost everything and they don't want the three swords because if you take the three swords all you're left with is heartbreak all you're left with is grief because the three of swords is going through a heart slicing it up they don't want that or they don't want to believe that. I feel like someone sold them out. Someone sold them out and they don't want to believe this. They don't want to believe it. And I can see someone like looking at paperwork. You know like they scrumple it, how they crumple it up and they're looking at it. They go, no, 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 let me look, look, let's look for this bit, look for this bit. And I don't know who it is that's telling them the jig is up, man. The jig is up. And they just keep looking at the papers again. They could be looking at cards and rereading them. But I'm getting it's documents or it's evidence of some sort. Someone sold them out big time. They stole something they shouldn't have. And the evidence is pointing towards them. And they're trapped. Look, feeling bound and gagged. They feel like they've been trapped by someone who is positive, fiery and outspoken. This could be that you have been speaking on something. People are listening. But I don't feel like it's just that. I feel like somebody within the group, somebody within the family, somebody within the coven, whatever, has jumped ship, has handed everything that they know about this money being stolen or whatever this is, I heard to the popo, to the police, to the 5-0, to the FBI, to whoever, so that they get a, a shorter sentence or they'd be more lenient on them. And whoever it is that is searching through, I heard my son stop. 
So this could be our mother or it could be our father going, no, no, my child wouldn't do that. Or it could be my nephew wouldn't do that. No, 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 my cousin wouldn't do that. There's no way they'd do that. No, no, no. And someone is like, no, they did. This is over. This is over. Everything is over. And I don't, it's not even just money. It is to do with their reputation. Like someone is literally standing like this. And the reason I keep poking over it is because this plant comes out a lot more to me than it does in the camera. So I'm kind of having to do this. But someone here is like gripsing up their face. They can't. They can't believe it. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, look, Three of Pentacles. Somebody they were collaborating with. Tears and frustrations. Letting go of emotions. Three of Pentacles. They, they thought that improvements were underway. But there were delays around it place of worship not my son that they, they could have been working with like the church or the synagogue or the temple or something and that's why they're just like in disbelief like my pastor didn't do that my rabbi did not do that there's no way why would no 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 oh yes 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 and they've been just left so they've been thrown under the bus, needing more confidence. But you've got the, the Knight of Cups. This can also be somebody who was dating a pastor or a preacher or could have been married to one or could have had romantic affiliations towards them. And they were so easily um, scammed or they were so easily bamboozled. But they, listen, they're not in, they're not like, uh, they're not virginal or innocent. This person was quite happy to steal this money alongside whoever this person is from the church, quite happily. But they thought that they would be thick as thieves. They thought that they had each other's back. And someone has been quick, quick to throw them under the bus, quick. Lesson learned, I heard important letters on its way. An important letter. I don't know if this person left a letter saying I'm sorry, or if they're about to get a letter stating i don't know if this is from a lawyer a, a dea office someone's office a government official office they have to go in for some sort of meeting they have to go in it's, they say meeting but it's an interview right it's not even an interview it's an interrogation let's put that five of swords down here oh no 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 someone ran with the money especially with the eight of pentacles in reverse or someone was supposed to do something with the money and they didn't they either gave it up or they ran away with it or they i don't know this person wanted to, I don't know who is, if this is your family or if this is somebody else's family who is targeting you or someone in the collective, but they were targeting a positive, fiery and outspoken person. Somebody who sits in their queen energy, irrespective of gender, he, she or they. Because we hold feminine energy and this, this person is holding a sunflower. This is about growth. This connects also to the sun card, which is about growth. It's about childhood. Um, and when I think of childhood, I think of the fifth house. Leo, creativity, children, pleasure, um, growth, all connected to the sacral chakra. Sacral and the third eye. Oh, I just threw off one of my own gems. Oh, no. But this person, um, they wanted to leave you out in the open. And I don't know if this was like, I don't even know if I've got that back on me, but I don't know if this was, this was a joint effort to plan they stole something either from you or from an estate or from a business. I don't know. Now, this could be they stole an opportunity, so they stole that money. But I don't think that, I don't feel like that's going to be for the, the majority. This is physical money that they've stolen. And they were trying to trap someone else in it. They were trying to get someone else to, to do what with it. They were trying to F someone up. They, this Wheel of Fortune, to the Eight of Swords, they took an offer that looked too good to be true, and it was. And it's it's literally that they got the wall pulled over their eyes by whoever this spiritual religious person is. And they wanted to trap you, or they wanted your name to be drawn through the mud. Let me put down the Queen. You were the one, you were supposed to be deceived and they end up getting deceived themselves. Now they're stressed out about this collaboration. 
they can't even go to the police and be like, oh no, this is what happened because this this church go or this or whoever this religious person is is already gone. They've already done it. They've already, they're already collaborating. They're already collaborating with the eight of wands being here, speedy news or situations coming with arrows of love underneath and injustice here in the three of pentacles. This person has either already turned themselves in or they have spun an elaborate web of lies that point towards whoever this family member is and how they stole the money and what they know about it. Needing more confidence and important letter. There's definitely a letter coming in about this. I don't know if the letter is coming towards you. What else do we need to know about this? Please and thank you. Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, the King of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this letter, I don't know if... Why am I getting that someone here has passed away? Excuse me, confirmation, but... Someone here may have passed away, and this has been left in like a will and testament. Spying or deception, reflecting back over your shoulder. Signing of money agreement, I'm telling you. Money contentment. Stability or stabilising influence coming into your life. The king of wands here is restless, outspoken, ambitious. You also have the ace of wands. New ideas, new beginnings, birth and creation somebody is it's like a written com a written not confirmation a written um confession a written confession of something but i keep hearing after they passed or after something whoever this church person is or this religious person is or temple or synagogue i don't feel like they would hand themselves in unless they thought they were going to get a really short sentence or they're about to pass away so it doesn't make any difference to them but there's a confession of some sort here. This money contentment and signing of money. Someone's about to give back money they stole, but more. And it's almost like their penance. I don't know if this is their penance. Spying or deception reflecting back over your shoulder. Because this, with that spying and um, kind of looking back over your shoulder, whoever this family member is for you, They've been bribing this religious person and this religious person obviously has gone, enough is enough, right? You're not having control over me. This is the last thing that I can do that will be flipping the bird to you in making sure that the appropriate services or appropriate um, government officials know what happened. They know my part to play to a certain degree, but they know everything that you did and who you did it to. So that this money gets paid back and more and you end up in prison because I'm passing away soon. They don't want to be looking over their shoulder no more. I want to put these down first, right? Emperor goes there. Then we have King of Wands. No, then Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone's bound to this because I feel like someone's signature is on some paperwork. That's how they stole this money. It's on some paperwork. The Chariot. Movement of residence, journey, victory over a situational problem, balancing the opposite polarities, an ace of swords, frustrations, double-edged sword, and hollow victory upside down. Somebody here stole a house. Or they, they, it's not just money. They stole a lot of things. They signed either in someone's name or they signed themselves as a guardian. I don't know. But what I do know is somebody here is owed a lot and they're going to get it all. They lied about this. They lied about some sort of journey, some sort of residence. But you've got here brightness, hope, could bring excesses. So be careful not to become too greedy. Someone is about to be handed the keys to a kingdom, I heard. Keys to a kingdom. This isn't even just like one one house, one yard. It ain't. There's, there's more to it than that. This is like land. It could be a holiday home. I've got that in earlier, like... Holiday home in the Caribbean, or holiday home in Bermuda, or holiday home in Barcelona. But it's not just that. It's like they could have rented the house out, or they've rented out all of the apartments. So you get to be landlady, or landlord, or land he, she, they. Um, as well as getting loads of money that they owed, as well as something else, and this estate, and rare, rare, rare. Someone's going to go from zero to hero within seconds. Mm-mm. 
Yeah. And you've got six of cups here. This is going to be a new way of living for someone. Happy house, childhood memories is upside down. This could be a childhood house. Seven of swords. This is in reverse though. Plant hope, wish card, um, highest minor arcana, but it's upside down. This is a load. This is loaded information coming towards someone. It's going to make someone sit down because being, changing your like your pay bracket or the the bracket of money that you're used to having one is is a massive kind of oh my gosh i need to sit down and and pinch myself if is, is this real is this is this actually happening and i'm stuttering and it's not my energy but finding out that a family member did this to you and they've been doing this for however long and they've been holding on to this for, for however long that's another kind that's a blow right that's a low flipping blow this person's gonna beg they're gonna want you to not let them go to prison they're still, they're still looking for all these papers. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Ten of Wands here in reverse. Weighed down with problems, very heavy load. But that being in, in reverse, this person quite happily put all of that debt on your back. And I'm not talking like physical debt. They put some sort of spiritual karmic debt on your back. If you've had a hard time of life, especially from like either youth up until present or from like your teenage years to present or like your 20s till present it's because this person was siphoning something or they signed something not just in this realm but a spiritual contract and you took the brunt of it you took the flipping brunt of it with the five of pentacles in reverse the lays around money coming in from the cold and it's upside down they put their karmic debt onto someone else so they could live the high life Knight of Swords, speedy situation or finish. They did this. I feel like they did this a lot. This is not like once. They did this like every year or All Hallows Eve. Something along those lines. And they got sold out. Well, they only got a specific amount. It's it's almost like going, you know, the, the stories you hear about like um the Crossroads demon and there's people that are like, oh, I want 20 years of being a famous celebrity and being the best guitarist. But when that 20 years is up, you've got to pay the piper. You, you're selling your soul or you're selling whatever they're coming to collect this person i don't know if they realized what it was that they were selling because their time is up their time is gone because the ten of wands right the ten of wands is about carrying a heavy load but you don't carry it forever this person's carrying it up to that building there and then they're going to put it down and rest and probably have a cup of tea and kick their shoes off right when it's this way you are carrying it and carrying it and carrying it and carrying it and you have no there's no view in sight of where you can stop and rest this is just continued burden 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 and they're stressed now because they've been hiding this money this business they've been doing some sort of business as well there's i feel like it started with an estate or it started with a certain amount of money that was supposed to go to you and they've built from this and they've built like a little mini empire from this and they're going to have to pay it all back but it's not just paying it all back this is fraud this is absolute fraud this is identity theft this is whatever else this person is unreal seriously and then you've got the fall in reverse they've been trying hard to stop you from having some sort of new beginning peace of mind and contentment so they've been doing this in the physical but they've also been doing something every year to keep somebody in like either low vibrations or to have bad luck or to you know not have romance and when you do you're always bringing in the wrong person to not like your job not to follow your true path not to be on your north node because doing so keeps them out of some sort of stressful inf information some sort of stressful environment there's knight of swords here though to the full i don't know they didn't do a shut up spell they done some sort of like road blocker they didn't want you to be independent because the nine of pentacles is about being independent, being sitting in your feminine energy, irrespective of gender, being able to sit in that divine feminine energy of creation, of intuition, of, you know, grounding yourself. Because when I think of the nine of pentacles, I also think of the empress, very abundant, very grounded. And the star and people seeing this and being inspired by this, I didn't want you doing that. Doing that, you going into your north node like you are now, that messes everything up for them. Because we've had a lot of readings in the past, when you think back to the last Halloween that we had. And it was all to do with doing some, they were doing some sort of spell 
whatever hocus pocus that was supposed to delay someone delay an ascension delay a beginning delay you know removing yourself from an old timeline whatever it may be and it didn't work it didn't work and it had worked times before and it's because someone here has healed some karmic cycle or some karmic spiral lessons that the universe was trying to tell you was trying to provide to you and you know they may have been offering this lesson in different people places so on and so forth someone here healed this and because they healed this this is why this they're getting their comeuppance this is why karma is now being served in the way that it is and i don't even say that in a negative light because karma is nothing more than a reflection it's a mirror that shows back to you your actions and your intent if you have been an, a shite person then you're going to be shown that in the mirror you're going to be shown with a dirty face you want to wash that off wash it off that's accountability but they don't want accountability they want to kind of cover it up they want to cover up what they've done anything else another deck mm, the sun yeah look they're trying to hide this they're doing a tr they're trying to hide something that they've done the magician being here element of surprise good or bad is in reverse the sun marriage happiness and bright prospects upside down and the lovers so you have someone here you have a very religious person here who no longer is either dating sleeping or has any romantic feelings towards this family member now this this i feel like with the lovers in reverse i don't know if this person is your ex i'm not really getting that so much as i am getting that this person we have loving arrows coming forward or arrows of love this person may have tried to do a love spell on you or a love spell on someone before because this person this religious person who may have you know try to paint themselves as being the hero to the authorities or whatever they want to be in your good books or they want to come forward as a knight of cups they may want to come forward with a letter okay okay we're getting somewhere here and it says here love affairs romance building again within a marriage relationship relatives a loving relationship you could share with a friend and it's upside down basic good news with a page of cups so this person's cut off whoever it was that they were working with they've cut off all of these people they want like a do-over is that they want to do over before they pass away and i don't know why i keep getting that this person's going to pass away soon they could have a terminal illness they could have i don't feel like it's just i was going to say sdi they could have an sdi but unless it is one of the really terminal ones that have not been treated i don't know if this person has the big c if they i don't know but they want to come forward earnest they want to come forward with like loving words and it says here but they see you as being cold hot and demanding in authority okay what else do i need to know ten of cups in reverse the tower in reverse this person stayed in a relationship that they didn't like i don't know if they were i don't feel like they were married to a family member i feel like this family member was like side chick side dude side he she they and i say he she they but most probably they would see it as he or she because whoever this religious person is is like devout old school very limited kind of views on sexual identity or orientation or what your identity could be so i'm hearing man or woman that is it there's only two genders that kind of energy you got the tower and it says catastrophe i cannot speak today catastrophe accident things happening very quickly at lightning pace but it's in reverse and then you have ten of cups happiness good things party or celebration in reverse this person held on for a very long time they held on in a relationship for a very long time or they it's almost like this person's having a dark night of the soul or they're having some sort of epiphany or a spiritual awakening as i heard them say i thought they thought they knew god they thought they knew god or they thought they knew everything there was to know about god death in reverse nine of wands eight of cups and the five of wands so this person's doing a lot of healing they're, they're really this person seems to be committed to healing themselves or healing some sort of mistake they see that they've done before they pass on before they pass away you have death in reverse death is about the endings of things and new beginnings can come in so this is about holding on to something or holding on to um a way of life a way of behaving 
you have um, the nine of wands, which is about healing. It's about, um, you know, it's a wounded warrior. It's someone propping themselves up with a stick with a bandage over their head. So these two on their own, this is taking time to set boundaries, healthy boundaries, or to work on themselves. And then you have the eight of cups. The eight of cups is, it's in reverse. It's about complete commitment. It's holding, so this person is committed to taking care of themselves. There may also be this wish that if they can come forward, if they can heal themselves enough, and they can come for if they can do the things that they should have done before let me get that right if they can go to the police or whoever and be like this is what happened this is the person who who done it all if they can come to you and apologize that they may be able to prolong their life however there's the reason why you've got the five of wands coming out here with arguments battles around them is because they're not telling the complete truth if they're going to go to the police and be like, well, this is what happens, they need to spill the beans on everything. They need to let the cat out of, bag out of the bag completely, not just open it and go, there's a cat there. They, they have to be like, well, this was my part and stop painting themselves as a hero. If you're the villain, you're the villain. You want to become the hero. You need to own the fact that you were the villain before. And it says here with the nine of wands, undecided, needs to take time, needs to take a step out of the situation, then you will see more clearly. So there was a lot of kickback or resistance maybe from the people around them when they were like, well, actually, I'm going to go to the police about this or I need to at least show what this person was doing. And of course, there's going to be there's going to be chaos and kickback because I feel like a lot of people, um, a lot of people benefited from whatever it was that they were doing when it came to fraud, when it came to identity theft, when it came to money that wasn't theirs. A lot of people have benefited from this. And I mean, like, if this person, if this is a pastor, for example, then his children have benefited from it. His wife has benefited from it. Or, you know, or if it's a, a female pastor, then it's the husband has. Um, and then the children and the cousins and blah, blah, blah. There's, a, there's like a small community of people who are getting a lot from what this person is doing, whether or not they're aware of this. Some will be and some will have no idea and just think, well, pastor so-and-so does a really good job and blah, blah, blah. And that's why they're getting blessed with all this money. They're not going to realise that actually this pastor blah, blah, blah has been stealing and sinning and all the rest of it. And those are not my words because I don't talk about sins. Um, you have death here. Death of a situational endings, new beginnings, and it's in reverse. You have eight of cups in reverse, money problems, turning your back and walking away, knowing nothing more can be done. And it's in reverse. So this person knows that for a very, they've done a lot, but I honestly feel like this person is not, they're wholeheartedly doing this. They want to heal. They want to get all of this stuff done. But they're doing it because they want a result rather than they're doing it to be present in the moment and to take accountability and say, well, this is what I did. This is how I find penance within myself is by going through it bit by bit and working out what it is that I need to do to write that because it's the right thing to do. Not write that because then I won't. In their head, what they, I hear them saying is that they won't go to H-E-L-L. -L. Four of Wands, happy home, possible country setting. This person may be, I don't know if they have a second home that they're sitting in, that they're trying to figure this out in. Let me see. Child and sovereign wealth has come through. And judication. So they're pushing now for this money to go through to you. They're pushing now to get this person to be thrown under the bus. There's a lot of money that's going to come to someone. And do you know what? Go and listen to the reading I did before because it was talking about um, looking at the signs and synchronicities. And one of them was 777. And what's in there? Can you see it from here? 777. You've got child and you also have judication. So this is money that should have gone to someone when you were a child. This was left to someone here when they were very small. Anything else? main female but it went to somebody who would it went to the wrong person you got main female in reverse and you got toilet neighbor somebody in your family work hard they work hard to defraud the system or to defraud you oh my gosh and they're gonna have to give it all up this is the thing as well if they have like holiday homes in bermuda or caribbean or whatever and they've been giving family homes to all these different people it could be to their friends, to cousins and second cousins and third cousins. They're going to have to give all of that up. All of those people are going to have to go and get jobs and they're going to have to get their own homes. 
and it's almost like a child who is used to just going into the kitchen open up the cookie jar and there's always cookies in there and it doesn't matter if the cookies go all the way down they know that the next day or the day after those cookies will be filled up it doesn't matter where they come from and then they can go and get another cookie they're going to go in there open up the jar and the jar's going to be empty and they're going to be like that's fine and they're going to wait a couple of days and it's still going to be empty and they're going to look in there and there's going to be a note in there saying it's your turn to get the cookies what are you kidding me that's the energy that's going to come through that's why there's also this five of pentacle and five of pentacle well yeah five of wands but five of pentacle energy as well because they're going to feel like they've been left out in the cold left out in the cold now you've got here thief courtship in reverse and then bad health and coffin i'm telling you this pastor energy or this religious person they may have tried to court someone here this is why with their love spells they were trying to send love spells so that they could court someone. So no matter what no matter what happened, they'd still be in with the money. Because even if this money went back to you, then they would be married to you or they'd be dating you. And because they know that you have a kind heart and that you would give your shirt off your back to help someone else, that you'd be giving them money. And that didn't happen. That didn't work. Plan A or plan B or plan C failed. You've got faith here. This person's in bad health because they stole. They're in bad health because they're spoiled, because they're seen as either a man or woman of God or a man or woman of Allah, whatever that may be, right? So in the eyes of God or in the eyes of the universe, this person is, they're false. They're not only false in that they're pretending this, this and that, but they're turning around, they're, they're reading out of the, the Torah or they're reading out of the Quran or they're reading out of the, the Bible, telling other people about sins and then they're stealing money from children how many years before and you've got here coffin they've literally hit the nail on their own coffin they know this this is why they want atonement unexpected income upside down you've got a mature woman here who was expecting money they were expecting something this is the person that is stressing out, looking through those papers going, I don't know, I don't know. No, 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 there's got to be a reason. There's got to be a way that we can change this around, right? Mature man and message. There's a letter. This person wrote them a letter saying, I'm sorry, but I'm doing the right thing. Or half, they're doing half the right thing. You're getting dobbed in. You're not going to be able to live in that house. Your daughters can't live in that house or your sons can't live in that house. Your grandchildren can't live in that house no more. No more holidays to Bermuda. No more getting on a private jet because all of that stuff, the private jet, the, the family homes, the, the holiday homes, the estate, the money. If you've been, you know, landlord or landlady, all of that goes to that person in the collective. And I can see people having full blown tantrums. How dare you? That's not fair. Well, well, well. Anything from here? No. Where do you want me to go? Mm -mm -mm. And I heard how the mighty have fallen. How the mighty have fallen. I heard you haven't heard the last of me. So someone here is going to try appealing it, right? Because you've got forgive here. And it's time. This person isn't going to forgive or they're going to hold a grudge. Think new, see fresh. And take the time and one small change. This person with its time and they don't forgive. This person is angry. At the time, I feel like when they took this money from a child, they were jealous. They took money from someone because they were jealous. Because this four of cups here, money fluctuations, being offered something that you may not want. Stop. So if someone passed away and left money to you as a child... Whatever this person got, they weren't happy with what they got. They weren't happy with what they were offered because they may have been offered less than what you were offered. So, for example, if this was a grandparent, say this was your granddad or your grandma or your great grandparents, and they were like, no, I leave this to my great grandchildren. When they are born, they will be getting this, this and this at the age of five or the age of 13 or the age of 25. I don't know. And their their own child their own child your family member was like what the f what they're gonna get this amount and then that's gonna triple into so and so and so and they're gonna get a part of the family business or they're gonna get this this and this and i only get the house in bermuda or i only get the house in the caribbean or whatever 
that's not happening that is not happening why does that child deserve that disgusting i'm taking that i don't care and this forgiving reverse this person is going to keep trying with appeals this wheel of fortune with that elevation of money overseas trip and complete complete phases and um, completion of phases this overseas trip there are many properties i'm telling you there's many properties that they're going to have to give up and they're going to be so upset about this because they're not going to get anything they're going to have to give everything back one small change think new see fresh and take the time there may be for someone here whatever it is that's going to be given to you it's going to be very big and it may be very overwhelming like the amount of money or the amount of fortune and there may be a need to um, get yourself like a financial advisor, an accountant without a doubt, a money manager. I don't know what that is. Small to one, small change. Think, think new and see fresh or whatever. And take the time. You're going to need to have those who handle your money or at least help you with your money. Maybe you're going to want to take a business course or, a, or you know, business and finance course so that you have a better understanding of trades and stocks. And I don't know. But you're also going to have this mature woman or whoever this person is who is going to try and um, pull on your heartstrings and be like, no, 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 please let me keep this one house because otherwise I'm going to be homeless. And blah, blah. Please remember that this same person has been doing fuckery spells. Excuse my language because I get vexed over things like this. They're going to be trying to pull on your heartstrings going, oh, poor me, poor me. I'm going to have nothing left. And what about my babies? And what about like they didn't? one steal from you when you were a child and two do some extra spell work on you every year like clockwork to make sure that your life stayed absolutely shite so that they could keep the things that they stole from you so when they're coming in and they're like oh poor me poor me you are not obliged in any way shape or form to feel sorry for them and don't feel guilt if you don't Aquarius, it says moon in Aquarius, the time is right for celebrating life, Most um, make the most of parties, gatherings and other social opportunities. So they're going to come in and be like, poor me, poor me. Get out of your own way and take the time. The thing is as well is that this, this pees me off, this kind of grinds my gears when people are, and not to me, but just in general, because this person is a spiritual and a physical bully. They have bullied a child, their own blood. For, for a lifetime, for decades, for years, for however long, right? And now that they're getting caught out, they're like, oh no, oh no, ah. And that does not in any way um, induce any type of empathy in me. But you're being told, I mean, do as you will, do as your free will tells you to do, right? But be aware that, because look, you've got the narcissist in reverse and then find a little divinity. You do not have to stoop to their level. But you also do not have to give them a handout. Simplify. Got to simplify. Keep the peace. That's what you're being told. Keep the peace there. But you don't have to give them a handout in any way, shape or, or form. You've got fear nothing here. And rebalance and regroup. And I want to put this down here near the positive fire and outspoken with feeling bound and gagged. So they were definitely doing something to someone's solar plexus. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will be will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction and ask for help. So if you get to this point and you're kind of like, well, I don't really know what, what choice I want to make because there are going to be innocent souls that get, you know, hit in the crossfire. For example, if you have cousins that say you never got on with them or you just don't know them, but they have children and they have small children and the home that you want back is the home that they live in and they can't afford to get another home. There's things here. This is the reason why someone here is going to need a money manager. Or they're going to need legal advice or they're going to need because you maybe have to come up with some sort of compromise, if that makes sense. Um, this won't be so black and white. But when it comes to this aunt, this person's aunt, I don't know why I said aunt. Oh, my God. So this is somebody's aunt. I did get a mature woman here. This is someone's aunt or like an older cousin or I don't know. But this is a, a toxic feminine energy here. This person's going to prison and they're going to try and play this kind of like, oh no, I didn't realise in the courts as well. Leaving room for whimsy is upside down and ask for help. You are being told though, ask your angels for help. Ask solicitors or attorneys or whatever it is that you need for help. 
and to leave kind of like that whimsical well everyone needs to be healed and everyone and i'm not saying that you shouldn't be in an empathetic energy but know your foe is what i'm hearing know your foe know your enemy know thy enemy know your foe moon in libra avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships when organizing like for like so this can also be with entrepreneurship so this is to do with your job as well i feel like whenever this when this comes in if, of course it's going to impact your job because the amount of money or the amount of estate and stocks and bonds that are going to come in is life-changing here and avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationship. I think this is looking at people that you are still in loving contact with, not people that you're not. And take your time with this. I feel like I want to leave this here, okay? Um, I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And when it posts and when I, up and when I upload... Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, I love you guys. Please know that my readings are closed at the moment. I'll let you know when they open. Please do not get um, fooled by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. If you see anything like that, or you see anyone pretending and saying, oh my gosh, I've been able to earn 30,000 this in, in, in one month because of this doctor. And then there's loads and loads and loads of answers underneath. It's the same person with different profiles. Do not be fooled by them. Just block and report them. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Boop.